What is up, bread gang? How are y'all doing today? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. It's getting pretty hot. I'm back again in Augusta, Georgia. I'm here with JW Montoya. His truck is sitting right behind me. Y'all saw it in the last video. You're gonna see it again in this one. I'm super excited to have the opportunity to film again with it real quick. We're knocking out a couple videos today. So, today's video is all about the comparison. We have a nine inch lifted truck on a 1500 and a six and a half inch lifted truck on a 2500. Now, why is that? I'm not sure, I don't know enough about trucks to know why that is, but that is how it is. So today I'm gonna to show you, they've got the same wheel size, same tire size, same everything, but a different lift, but they're the same size truck. So maybe he can enlighten some of us that don't know anything about our trucks on why that is. So I'm gonna roll the intro real quick. I'm gonna go find, uh, go find him inside, and we're gonna figure it out, hopefully, for the bread game. Great comparison here. So I've got a nine inch lift with the 375s. We have the same exact wheel and tire setup, both 22 by 14 hostiles, same offset, same tire. I think I may have just a hair more tread, but that's really not gonna make a difference. And you can see I've got a nine inch lift and he's got a six and a half BDS. So if you can tell the difference between 1500 and 2500, this is, this is gonna be it. So it's actually, when he gets his nine inch McGoy's lift put on, it's gonna be so freaking huge and I'm gonna be so freaking jealous. Uh, man, I want a Duramax really bad. Every time I come up here, I want a Duramax really bad by the time I leave. Do you have anything you wanna to say to the people of the Bread Gang? Uh, you can subscribe to his channel. You don't have to, but it helps. You subscribe to his channel. Yeah, you don't have to, but it helps. It helps, every little bit helps. Even 10 cents a day. Yeah, you don't have to subscribe, but it really helps. And then again, I want a huge shout out to uh, the beautiful F-350 has just sitting in the driveway over here, Sinister Diesel approved. I mean, it's fantastic build that he's got going on. Fully emission compliant. I love that. Yeah, we don't break rules. Is that custom powder coat? This, it actually came from factory like that. So Ford's actually doing a very good job Dude. of their paint. Dude, Ford is stepping it up, man. Right. Um, I'm really impressed with Ford's powder coat these days. That's awesome. Michigan factory, man, you can't, you can't beat it. Anyway. After we were uh, rudely interrupted by the Ford sitting in the driveway, geez. You see that? Look, they got a Mustang over there too. Dalton, you see that Mustang right there? Look at that Mustang, that burgundy brown color. I actually like this brown, um, that brown color that it came out with. Brown Mustang? Yeah. That's not bad. Is that a 2018? 2019. 19, man, that's... That must be. Anyway. Do you have any idea why these new trucks, or why 2500s in general sit higher? Do they sit high? Do they come? Is it, is it because of suspension, or is it just blocks? Or it sits higher from factory compared to 1500. It's probably the bigger frame. Bigger frame? Yeah. Is that is so? Any of my people in the comments below, hit me up in the comments. Let me know because honestly, I really have no idea. I'm not doing this for the video. I've always been curious why. I mean. Nine inch lift versus six and a half. Mine's 1500, his 2500, of course. We have the same exact wheel and tire size, both 375, 45, 22, 22 by 14s, uh, negative 76 offset, I believe his is as well. So, I mean, literally, there's no difference in the size of the tires down here. It's all in the lift. And the lift really, you know, it lifts the truck the same. His is a six and a half, mine's a nine, there's no difference. So the difference is somewhere in how the truck is built. So um, leave a comment below. This is gonna be maybe more of a question video. Maybe, I don't know. And then you got the rear end of the trucks. I think, 
And so I have a six inch block in the back and he's got probably a six in the back as well. So our, the back of the trucks actually sh sit just about the same. And I did find out, do what? Show people the blocks. Oh, I can. That's right. <laughs> Look at me. So we got, actually no, you've only got like, yeah, it's like a three. you've got like three inch blocks back here. And I've got this big old huge six inch block. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't ride that bad, but yeah. yeah, I mean, you can just tell just by looking underneath that, you know, your axle compared to mine. <laughs> I am getting rid of this rusty exhaust, so don't flame me in the comments for that. But, and I did find out yesterday at the show actually that my the rear of the truck actually sits just like a like I think an inch lower than the uh, than the front of the truck. So I do have a baby squat right now. Which is fine, nobody will ever notice, but I don't think he's got any squat over here. You need to take the blocks out. Oh yeah? One time, just one time. Only when I drive up to the Carolinas. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to do that. Your truck's longer too. It is. Yeah, look it's at like that. 500 beds are longer. Yeah, so we've got your wheelbase yeah. all together is longer. So up front, our tires are sitting exactly the same, and in the back, I mean, that's probably a good, almost a foot difference. That's what I like about the Duramax is because they, they're longer. And it's I a think long it ass looks truck. Kind of cooler. It does, yeah. It's lifted, it's longer. longer makes it look lower and wider. I think that's probably why your truck looks so wide to me. It looks really good though. I love the uh, the the C, the C LEDs that you got. You can't really see them. I mean, I guess you can see it a little bit. I love those. That's a beautiful. You can't really see them. See them. Pun intended. Pun very intended. This just turned into a comedy video. Are we comedians now? I've been a comedian. I'm a comedian now. Mom, I made it. I'm a comedian. That's, that's a that's a loud door lock. Is it? Yeah. I like it. Like, Don't roast me. In the comments? Yours are too clean. I can't put bread gang on yours. I, I just watched it yesterday just for you. Just for me? Oh. Just for me. I did not watch mine. Yeah, it'd be pointless for you to watch it if you're driving 600 miles. You can you can still see that I have the the cutout from the plate that was <laughs> that was there where it's like cleaner on the outside than it is on the inside. And I think you managed to hit every single bug. Oh yeah. In between Florida and North Carolina. Uh, oh yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, there's some on the on the windshield up there too. You probably went the back roads, didn't you? Back, uh -huh. way. back road diesel. I like these. Uh, how long have you had these uh, mirrors on here? I love these mirrors. Boost Auto Parts. I need to get some of those. I kind of like those. Should we, should we get them to get you one? I don't know. You think so? Boost Auto Parts. How many likes do we have to get for him to get some uh, tow mirrors? Leave, leave a comment below. So this this video actually just, you know, I actually got a decent idea for this video. Leave a comment below whether I should get some, uh, let me get out of this one. Whether I should get some tow mirrors for the truck. So you can see side by side comparison what the factory 1500 mirrors look like compared to the tow mirrors. Let me know if I should get some tow mirrors. I, I'm kind of leaning towards it and I'd probably go exactly what he has right there. And I actually really like this. I think that would look good, especially with the new headlights that I have. So leave a comment below uh, on this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below whether you think I should get some tow mirrors or not. I think it's a pretty, pretty solid idea for an upcoming video. His nine inch lift is going to look really good. I showed y'all the powder coat in the last video and I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited. What it is, is when you have a Duramax engine, mm -hmm. your truck just sits up higher. Oh. Yeah, that just, that's just how life is. Smaller penis, bigger, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. When you have a, so when you're Asian like me, and already have a small penis, and you have a lifted truck to compensate for it, man, your truck just gets sits higher. Must be nice. Yeah, I need a magnifying glass every time I pee. Mine's just like, it, it falls out of my shorts with this 1500 over here. Uh. I need to switch to a Duramax. Maybe that'll help me out a little bit. You know, I'm just walking around and it's falling out of my shorts. Cause you feel how the cold the water is every time you pee. Your <laughs> I love these uh, these two trucks though. All jokes aside, it looks really good. Getting the 375s together. It's been a 375 kind of weekend. I mean, I love having a 375 gang together. He's only maybe a member for, you know, a couple more days or weeks or whatever it is. Um, wink, wink. He's getting some new wheels and tires. He hasn't revealed it yet, even to me, but we're... Uh, We'll, we'll be here whenever it's ready, whenever it's time. So I'm going to end the video off today with a, uh, with a little message to my fans.
That's custom right there. That is absolutely custom. Bread gang. I'm gonna leave that on there actually. That looks really good. You like? Come look at my, my custom wheels with the handprint next to it. You like my custom wheels? Yeah, you might want to wash it up before it scratches your paint. Uh, yeah, the paint. Ah, <laughs> bread gang will pay for it. I know I said it last time, but again, huge shout out to JW Montoya for having me out today. I had a great time. I always love looking at his truck. Again, I really hope he keeps the 375s. I will see you again on July 20th. I will be at the Sick Gear Meet with JW. Um, the Black Mama is going to be out there. Mark's going to be out there. Um, there's going to be a bunch of us out there. It's going to be a great time. A lot of nice trucks, um, some good food, some vendors, a lot of giveaway prizes too. So y'all make sure that you come to that. Um, Jack Wiseman, I think Jack's going to be there. One of my biggest biggest supporters huge shout out to jack wiseman i really hope you're watching this the bread gang is here for you man i love all of you so much if you if you like the channel if you like the content hit the like button hit the subscribe button and as always i'll see you guys next time let's get this bread yes sir